One of my favorite new features of the past several ECMAScript releases is the spread operator. I love doing tips on this operator. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at combining objects into a single object using the spread operator. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. Now to be notified about new tutorials, make sure to subscribe and click the bell button. Also, I've included discount links to all my courses in the description of this tutorial. Now, at times, there is a need to combine objects into a single object. For example, you may have more than one object that contains data about a single user or single entity, and you want to bring those together into a single object. This can be difficult to do without the spread operator. So let's look at how to do this with the spread operator. So here I have three objects. Person object contains some personal information. Then we have scores. That contains some of the scores for the courses that have been completed and then null for those that haven't. And then we just have some attempts information, number of tries, whether this person's a member, etc. So the idea is that these three objects all contain data about a single user. And we want to combine them together so that we can access that single object to get the data about the user. Now, for those of you that have not used the spread operator, the spread operator is simply three dots, three periods. So it looks like this. Right there, that's the spread operator. Now, the spread operator takes an iterator and spreads out the elements or the values inside that. So we can use the spread operator to spread out each object. And while we're doing that, at the same time, we put them inside of curly braces to create a new object. Now, if you haven't used the spread operator, I've done some other tutorials on it, and I'll include links to those in the description. Now let's take a look at how we would do this, how we would combine these into a single object. So we're going to call this final OBJ. And we set that equal to. Now what I said is we put curly braces, because that's how we define an object. We use the object literal. Now, what do we put inside this curly braces? What do we put to define this object? Well, what we want to do is we want to put each of these objects and we want to use the spread operator. So what it puts in place are the name value pairs. That's what the spread operator will do for us. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So three dots, person, that's the first object. Then I do a comma. So for each new object, or this could be arrays, this could be any iterator, but each new one we separate it with a comma. So there's a spread operator for scores, comma, spread operator for attempts. And that's all there is to it. That will combine those together. So let me save this and let's go ahead and take a look at that open up the console here and I'm going to display final OBJ and let's open this up so you can see that how it combines those name value pairs notice that they're showing up here in order so it didn't combine one object then the next object and so on we're seeing that it's simply mix those together but now we have access to every single name value pair that was a part of three different objects. So obviously this was a simple example, but it does show how easy it can be to combine those three objects. Now, how would we have done this without the spread operator? Well, you would need to use a loop and you'd have to loop through each object and transfer the name value pairs to a new object. So spread operator is much simpler. Now, before we're done here, please hit the like button. It can help others find this tutorial. As I said, if you want to dive deeply into JavaScript, I've provided discount links to all my courses in the description section. 
If you would like to become a patron of this channel, I would appreciate the support. There are additional benefits to certain levels. You can follow a link in the description section as well. You can also contribute by visiting my website. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button or click the circle link on the left one of my face. Also click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release a new tutorial each week. You can also click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com, for a complete list of tutorials and other resources. Thanks for watching.